let's talk about magic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the film there are three basic elements that are needed for magic and one is the uh, ardor of the heart, there are uh, concentration and uh, believing in yourself. But what other elements did you use to make your movie? Um, I think uh, <laughs> trust is one. You know, the, the studio, Pixar, has to really trust us to do the right thing and make, change, uh, make mistakes, and they certainly do, which I think leads to us taking more risks. Um, communication is huge amongst, you can imagine, there's hundreds of artists, and you, as, as the director, you really have to, and, and everyone has to communicate. And, and understand that we're telling the same story and keep on track. Um, those, are, those are some of the biggest ones. Yeah. And have you never thought this half dad could be a little scary? The half dad? Uh, I, no, I didn't think it was, <laughs> well, it's still scary. Uh, but um, I thought, you know, funny is what we were going for and weird and, and creepy. Uh, a little. Yeah, it should be creepy. <laughs> Which is what makes it funny in my mind, you know, the the boys have in the movie have looked up to their father and put him on a on a pedestal for so long. Uh, the idea that then he would be this embarrassing, weird thing, I think was important because, um, I mean, let's face it, we're all a little embarrassed by our parents. So they actually get a little bit of a richer experience by getting to be weirded out from him and goof off from him instead of just idolizing him, which isn't a real relationship. Yeah, it's funny too, right. but I'm a little scary about it. I think the kids, oh, it's strange, but it's okay. <laughs> I think, a, yeah, sometimes a little scary is good. We all grew up with, uh, you know, the early Disney films and children's films that were pretty scary, yeah. and they stick with you. Those villains, those moments, they're exhilarating. It's what we love out of drama, and I think kids even kind of get, remember it and get a, a lot out of it too. Yeah, and about the setting that is obviously magical, um, how did you find the balance between the modernity of the city and uh, its uh, medieval or fantastic uh, aspects? It was tricky to find that balance because uh, you didn't want to lose one over the other, otherwise you felt like you weren't giving the promise that you, you set out based on the, the movie. So we would always keep an eye on, uh, if we were in a, out in the woods somewhere, we'd say like, throw a plane going by, yeah. add a cell it's phone a, tower. I, I know, noticed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do something that can only be in this movie uh, was, was something we kept our eye on. We didn't want audiences to feel like, oh, now it's just a classic fantasy movie. Yeah, and I perceived it, yeah. They're playing it, yeah. oh yeah, cool, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and can we still find magic uh, under our comfort uh, and uh, how we can get it out again? I think we can. I think there's still magic in the world because magic is what you want it to be. Magic can be, can be technology, it can be all these amazing inventions that, that have happened in our lives. Magic is our own potential, meaning like uh, challenging ourselves to grow, that's magic, and love is magic. Um, but in general, I think it's being you know, kind to each other and, and, and listening to each other is pretty magical. Thank you, and thank you for sharing your story.